Hello everyone, today our topic is how to create system.io contact from Google Sheets and add tags. So here our objective is that whenever we add new details of a user in our Google Sheet, then we want to use these details and we want to create a new contact in system.io and we also want to give a tag to that contact. For that, we will create an integration between Google Sheets and system.io. So for creating this integration, we are going to use Pabli Connect, which is an amazing software for automation and integration. In Pabli Connect, we are going to use Trigger and Action. In Trigger application, I'm going to use Google Sheets. In Action application, I'm going to use system.io. So how I am going to create this integration? For that, let me take you to my computer screen. I hope all you can see my computer screen. And today we are working with system.io which is an all-in-one marketing platform that helps businesses to create and launch funnels, affiliate programs, email marketing campaigns, online courses, blogs, and websites. So here our objective is that in my Google Sheets, I have details of new users. And whenever I add a new row with the detail of a user, I want to create a new contact in system.io. And I also want to give a tag to that contact. And I want this process to happen automatically so that it will save my time and energy. For that, I will create a simple integration between Google Sheet and system.io. So for that, I will open a new tab and search for pabli.com. And this will take us to this landing page of Pabli. Here we have two options, sign in and sign up for free. If you don't have any account with Pabli, you can just sign up for free and it will take only two minutes of your time and you will get hundreds of tasks free every month. Or if you already have an account, you can just sign in and you will get to see this page. Here, these are all the apps that Pabli offers. And here, we are going to use Pabli Connect. For that, I will click here on Access Now button under Pabli Connect. And this will take us to the dashboard of Pabli Connect. Here, this is the workflow section and we can see all the workflows that we will create here. And this is the folder section. We can create new folder here and we can save any workflow in any particular folder that we want. Now we want to create a new workflow. For that, I will click here on create workflow button and this window will pop up. Here I have to name my workflow. So I will name it as my objective, which is to create system.io contact with tag from Google Sheets. And I will select the folder where I want to save my workflow. So I will select home and I will click on create. And this will take us to this most important window of our workflow. Here we have two boxes, trigger and action. So these are the two main principles on which our workflow works on and trigger says when this happens, action says do this. So trigger will be the first step that will get executed in our workflow and action will just follow that. So we need to set up our trigger first and here my trigger application will be Google Sheets. So I'm going to select Google Sheet here. And I have to give a trigger event. So I will open this tab and new or updated spreadsheet row will be my trigger event. Now I need to connect Google Sheet with Pabli Connect. So for that, I'm going to use this Webhook URL, which is going to work as a bridge between Google Sheets and Pabli Connect. And to connect these accounts, I need to follow all this instruction. So I will first copy this Webhook URL. And now I will go to my Google Sheet. In my Google Sheets, I'm using this spreadsheet, which is system.io contacts. And in this, I have this user detail and I have all these columns. So to connect Google Sheet with Public Connect, first I have to go to extensions. In this, I will go to add-ons and I will click on get add-ons. And this will take us to this Google Workspace Marketplace. Here I'm going to search for Public Connect Web Books. I will open this and I will get to see this extension. And I need to install this extension. So I have already installed this. So I'm going to close this. I will go back to extensions. In this, I will go to Pabli Connect Webhook and I will click on initial setup. Here we have two options, Webhook URL and trigger column. So first I'm going to paste that Webhook URL that we have copied from Pabli Connect and I'm going to paste it here. Now I have to give a trigger column. So the trigger column will be your final data column on which if the data is added, the whole of that row data will be sent to Webhook URL. So here in my spreadsheet, I have this column, which is J and this is my last data entry column. So I'm going to type J here. So column J will be my trigger column and I'm going to click on send test. 
So my test data sent successfully. I'm going to click on submit. And my setup is configured successfully. So I'm going to close this. I will go back to extensions. And in extension, I will go to public connect web book. I'm going to select this option of send on event. Now what this will do is that whenever I will add a new row in my Google sheet with the details of the user, it will send that data of that row automatically to public connect. Now let's go back to public connect. And here we have this response. So here we have response of my Google sheet. So the state is MP. This is my pin code and this is a random phone number and the first name of the user is test last name is user and the email is test user at the rate pablitudes.com and this is the country code and this is the company name which is pabli and the city is bhopal and the address is random now what i want is i want to use these details from my google sheet and i want to create a new contact in systema.io for that i will set up my action step and for that i will open this tab and here I'm going to search for my action application, which is systema.io. I will open this. Now I have to give an action event. So I will open this tab and create contact will be my action event. So I'm going to click here and I will connect systema.io with public connect. So I'll click here on connect and I will click on add new connection and to connect systema.io, I have to give an API key. Now to get this API key, I have to log into systema.io account. So for that, I will go to system.io and here in the profile, I will go to settings and here in the settings, I will open this public API key and here I have to create a new API key. So I will click on create and I have to give the name to my API key. So I will name it as demo. I will click on save. So this has created a new API key for me. So I'm going to copy this. I will go back to public connect and I'm going to paste it here. And now I will click on save. So my connection is successful and I have these details. So these are all the details of creating a new contact. So I have to fill all these details here. And for this, I'm going to map these details with the response of my Google sheet. And I'm going to use those details. So for that, I'm going to use mapping here. And what mapping is, Mapping is a technique through which I can retrieve the data from the previous steps and the data that is changing will get replaced with the new data in the real time. So for mapping, I'm going to click here. I will open this response and in this response, I'm going to find my email address that I want to use. So this is the email address. So I'm going to click here. So this is my email address. Similarly, I will map my first name. I will click here. I will open this response. And in this, I have this first name, which is test. Now we'll map last name. Now the phone number. And this is my phone number. And in our Google sheet, we are getting the phone number without the plus sign. And to add the contact in our system.io, we need plus sign ahead of our phone number to complete the country code. So for that, I will just type plus sign here ahead of my phone number. Now my phone number is completed and I will not get any error. For the street address, I will do the same. I will open this response and this is my address random. So I mapped that now the postal code city state and for the country, I have to get the country code. So I'll click here. I will open this response and this is my country code. So I'm going to map this now the company name, which is Pabli. And if you have the text number two in your Google sheet, you can map that too. So I don't have text number with me. So I'm going to leave this blank and I'm going to click on save and send test request button. So here we can see we have the response and we got this contact ID. So this means we have created a new contact in systema.io. Now to check this, let's go to systema.io. I will go to contact. And here we can see we have added this new contact and the email address is test user at the rate pablitudes.com. So I'll open this. So in this contact, I have this email address, which is test user at the rate pablitudes.com. The first name is test. Last name is user. Country is India. City is Bhopal. Street address is random. And this is the postal code. And this is my random phone number. Company name is Pabli. State is MP. So these are the details that we had in our Google sheet and we have used those details to create a new contact in systema.io. 
Now I will go back to Pabli Connect. Here I also want to add a tag to these contacts that I'm creating in system.io. So for that I will add another action step. Here my action application will be system.io. So I'm going to select this. Now I will give an action event. So I'll open this tab and add tag to contact will be my action event. I will connect system.io. I'm going to use existing connection because I have already logged into my account. So I'm going to click on save. Now I have these two details contact ID and tag ID. So for the contact ID, I want to map this according to new contact that we are creating. So this is going to change every time a new contact is created. So here in the previous step, we got this response. And here in the response, we have this contact ID. So I'm going to map this. So for mapping, so for mapping, I'm going to click here on map button. And I'm going to clear this default response. And for the mapping, I'm going to open this system.io response. And this is my contact ID. So I'm going to select this. So I have mapped my contact ID here. Now for the tag ID, I will open this tab. And here you will see all your tag IDs that you have in your system.io account. I only have one tag, which is of Google Sheets. So I'm going to select this. And simply I'm going to click on save and send test request button. And here we have this positive response. So this means we have added this new tag of Google Sheet in our contact. Now to check this, let's go to system.io and I will refresh this. And here in the select tags option, we can see we have added this new tag of Google Sheets. So here we can see that our integration between Google Sheet and system.io is working successfully. And we have added this new contact with tag from the details that we had in our Google Sheet. So let's go back to Pabli Connect. And here we have created this integration between Google Sheets and system.io that whenever we are getting new details of a user in our Google Sheet, then we are creating a new contact in system.io with those same details of our Google Sheet. And also we are giving a tag to that particular contact. So let's summarize what we did here. First, I have set up my trigger and my trigger application was Google Sheets and my trigger event was new or updated spreadsheet row. Then I have set up my action and my action application here is system.io and my action event was create contact. Then I have added one more action step and in this my action application is system.io and my action event was add tag to contact. So this is how I have successfully created this workflow and you can also create this workflow by following all the steps that I did in my workflow. And I'm also going to put the link of my workflow in the description so you can check it out from there. Thank you. Not just these applications, you can automate and integrate a lot more applications like this using Pabli Connect. If you need any help or if you have any doubt, you can email us at support at If you have any queries, you can post them at forum.pabli.com or if you have any issue with the pricing of Pabli, you can connect on this link. And if you like this video, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.